Hello, this is Brian Shannon from Alpha Trends Blogspot. Today is Monday, April 30th, 2007. And on Wall Strip today, we're taking another look at Toyota Motors. We last looked at Toyota Motors back uh, in late November when the stock was pulling back over in here. And at that point, I suggested that it looked like there was some support near about 114 or so. Didn't get quite down to there. It got down to uh, low 116.73, it looks like. And at that point, I said that basically we would want to buy it on strength. We'd want to wait for it to stabilize. So that was back in here. And I think it was right around this day, actually. It was the 27th. So it was a day away from the actual uh, low at that point. And the 50-day moving average was where the stock found support. So if you had bought on strength back in there, I think the proper time to do it would have been as the stock cleared that uh, little resistance level in there at that point. So and then the buyers did take control. Now what we've seen since then, though, is we've seen these moving averages crisscrossing a bunch, and now we've got a declining 50-day moving average. So the declining 50-day moving average tells me we want to be cautious in here a little bit. But at the same time, we've also got what looks to be support forming near this rising 200-day moving average. So when we look at the uh, weekly time frame, that's where that 40-week moving average 40 weeks times five days in a week is the 200 day moving average. So I think that basically we've got the same situation that we were in over here. Um, prices are a little bit higher, but we have the stock pulling back recently. And I think what you want to do is wait for strength to buy it. In other words, I think that once the stock has shown that it's done going down here and it's not going to make lower lows anymore, we want to buy after it makes a higher high. Let's give the benefit of the doubt to the buyers here with a rising 200-day moving average for investment purposes. Swing traders and shorter-term traders, I think you're probably better off in other opportunities because we do have a declining 50-day moving average. But it is showing support along that longer-term weekly time frame. So I think that for an investor, once the buyers retake control uh, and, and take, the, take the stock back above this level here at about 126.5, then I think you'll start to see a resumption of the upside momentum, and then you would want to put your stops under whatever turns out to be the higher low. In this case, we have a low right here at about 120.5, and, and we have a higher low at about 121.5. So uh, I would say wait for strength to buy it, put your stop underneath the higher low, which is also right around that 200-day moving average. So we might see another bounce higher. We might see the stock run up towards about 140. But clearly, the longer-term trend in Toyota is still higher, and investors ought to be looking for a place to buy it. But I th again, I think only on strength.